Wherever you go in Israel today, the sounds of the Israel Movement for Progressive Judaism are being heard. From north to south, in towns and agricultural settlements, in many languages and accents, Reform Judaism, in all its diversity, is taking root. These are the voices and faces of the Israel Movement for Progressive Judaism. We are singing and praying together. And I'm telling you, hell, what we're doing is we're living in our day-to-day -day life, our, our Reform Jewish Zionist group. The Reform Movement has a role in making sure that Israel is a better place. Will you all up? You progressive, yes, yes? Yeah! We are progressive Jews, and this is the place to do it. After World War II, and after the cognizance of the Holocaust, uh, the State of Israel was established. And in so doing, the Jewish people demonstrated their capacity to transform the ashes of destruction uh, into the glow of redemption. I believe that it was the most important drama on the surface of the globe. And the question was, how is the reform movement going to relate to this drama? Will we continue to remain in the audience uh, spectators watching from the balcony above or watching the actors play on the stage or will be, become major players on the center stage of Jewish life. And so we moved to Israel. I believe it was the most historic decision ever made by the reform movement and certainly in the last half of the 20th century. And we began to build our institution. And uh, I think we've made tremendous contributions. It's a great sense of accomplishment to be part of a movement that has grown so much and has had so much influence on Israeli society, both through our social justice activities as well as the congregations which we have built, the buildings in which these congregations meet, and the wide variety of people who come to us for alternative religious services. We came here in 91 in order to build uh, Reform Judaism in Tel Aviv. Since then, we made a revolution. This community has, uh, this year, more than 200 bar and bat mitzvahs. More than 600 couples uh, found uh, a Jewish wedding here, a modern Jewish wedding, reformed Jewish wedding. This is, in Israeli terms, a revolution. We are an entity. We are active in the social life of the community. We are active in absorption of the Ethiopian kids. And we've taken about ourselves to really absorb them into the Israeli uh, community. Progressive Judaism is an open door to all those who want to remember their roots, if they have roots, or to put down new roots. Planting a tree in our land of Israel that can grow and flourish for our children and grandchildren is extremely moving. The prime goal of Maram is to advance the ideological positions of the movement, to translate what those ideological positions are into educational programs, to be able to, to expose the average Israeli, especially the younger generation, because they're the future of the state of Israel, to what progressive Judaism is all about. Israel is the hub. It's the hub of the wheel of Jewish life. And uh, we see ourselves as the leaders in, uh, in bringing about the continuation of Jewish life wherever it may be, especially in the state of Israel.
the most important thing is being part of an authentic Israeli center. We are not in the margins here in Leobek, in Haifa. And the language here is the language, the dialogue, the discourse, is the discourse of progressive Judaism while you're talking about making the world better through education. This is the way that you communicate with each other. Though I come from a traditional background, I lead a pretty secular life today. I teach in the secular school system where I bring what I learn at these workshops to my classroom, helping to connect my students to their heritage and to the legacy that they don't see at home. Finally, someone is presenting Judaism as it really is. If a synagogue is not doing anything in social action, then as far as the reform movement is concerned, it's missing the point. We're not all about ritual. We're also about social action. It's been my experience that planting social change is very much like planting a, a plant. You must get your hands dirty and get into reality and see what you want to change. The Religious Action Center is the arm that does the social action for the congregation. In the last several decades, our movement has managed to place itself on the map. The challenge for the coming years and decades is to change that map. And in order to do so, we're going to need the very finest leadership there is to be found in this country. And that's why we are attracting uh, young men and women, Israeli-born and new immigrants, from uh, ultra-secular kibbutzim to ultra-orthodox households, children of the reform movement and people who two or three years ago didn't know there was a reform movement. And they're finding their way to this institution where they're undergoing a process of change and learning in order to go out and articulate to Israeli society what it can mean, what it might mean, to be a modern Jew here and now. Honest observers will tell you, progressive reform Judaism has already transformed the Israeli Jewish scene. From a dichotomized Jewish entity, either orthodox or secular, pluralism, the streams, liberal Judaism are now the desired alternative by millions of Israelis. If you ask me the question, have we uh, fulfilled all of our objectives in these last 30 years? No. But I think we built a solid foundation for a dynamic and vital movement. I think we can make a contribution to the state of Israel, and uh, I think Israel has made a tremendous contribution to the reform movement.